Hello, everybody. You're on the mic. And on today's episode, I'm going to continue a little bit of a series here that I just started. Um, actually, I had a couple episodes earlier, but now I've made it into a little bit more of a series here. Um, doing like the voices of cartoon characters based on comic books right now. I'm focusing in, of course, on the original member of the Justice League. I've already done, of course, episodes of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and the in the last couple of days, of course, Wonder Woman and Flash. If you guys want to go back and check those out, you're more than welcome to. Um, today, I'm going to continue with the Justice League here. We're going to focus in on Green Lantern. And there have been many different incarnations of Green Lantern who have been portrayed either directly or indirectly in, um, you know, um, in, you know, animation. Major the majority of the time it's been Hal Jordan, but we've also seen times when John Stewart, the modern day Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner, and even um, Alan Scott um, have been at different points portrayed, but it's been primarily Hal Jordan, of course. So, without no further ado, let's get going here and let's get started on on this. So, first off, we head all the way back to the 1960s, uh, to the 1966 to 69 um, series of the Superman Aquaman Adventure Hour. Of course, at the time, Hal Jordan was was the primary Green Lantern of the of the DC TCU, featured, of course, in you know in you know, of course Justice League of America as well as his own eponymous title, Volume Two, um, Green Lantern Volume Two. Um, primarily here in 1967, Hal Jordan would be featured in his own um, in his own series of shorts as well as. Justice League segments as part of the Superman Aquaman Hour adventure. Um, he was voiced by Gerald Moore, who of course also provided the voice of Hawkman in the series as well as um, Mr. Re you know, Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards in a later Fantastic Four um, cartoon as well. Um, Moving ahead in time to from 1973 to, through 1986, through throughout the Super Friends franchises, including Challenge of the Super Friends, Super Friends the Lost Episode, Super Friends um, Legendary Super Powers Team, and Super the Super Powers Team's Galactic Guardians, Michael Rye would provide the voice of Green Lantern one, once again. Hal Jordan being the the, the Green Lantern featured in in the in the in the show. As I said, Michael Rye providing the voice of Green Lantern, Hal Jordan in Super Friends cartoon. Then, as we get into the DCAU, um, at this point, John Stewart had you, you, you know. John Stewart was the primary Green Lantern who was portrayed throughout much of the DCAU with Kyle Rayner, with Kyle Rayner and um, Hal Jordan making appearances. Of course, John Stewart throughout Justice League and Justice League Unlimited would be would um, John Stewart's Green Lantern voice would be provided by um, Phil Lamar. Um, throughout his his appearances on Justice League, and then as to other DCAU appearances, Kyle Rayner would appear in the Superman the animated series episode in Brightest Day. Um, vo um, where he was voiced by Michael P. Greco. In this episode, of course, um, Kyle Rayner was was actually had um, Hal Jordan's origin. In other words, he was the one to actually 
um, get the ring from Aventure as opposed to Hal Jordan, which is a bit of a, of course, of a continuity break from the main DCU. Um, Rainer would, would then, of course, reappear in some episodes of Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, including um, here the episode Hereafter, in which um, he was one of the Green Lanterns attending Superman's funeral in a non-speaking role, and the return in just the episode The Return in Justice League Unlimited, in which the Green Lanterns had a failed attempt at, at keeping um, Amazo at bay from what they believed at the time was destroying Oa, but as it was eventually discovered, he just simply moved it out of his way. Will Friedel, who of course also voiced, um, you know, future Batman Terry McGinnis um, in Batman Beyond, would voice um, Kyle Rayner in, in that episode and, and the episode... Um, the return. Then, in a in the Justice League episode Legends, in which the members of the Justice, in which four members of the Justice League, including um, John Stewart, as well as um, Martian Manhunter, the Flash, and Hot Girl, were transported to an alternate dimension. That was that was basically run by or that was uh, okay, so as I was saying in the episode Legends um, there was a hom you know in which the jet four members of Justice League crossed over into an alternate universe. Paralleling, of course, um, Flash 123, um, Flash of Two Worlds, um, the, the current universe, um, Justice League, um, Justice League meets up with the Justice Guild of America, in which, um, in which they meet basically their version of the superhero team. Um, in this, in this case, and this is partly due to, um, some issues with DC Comics, um, they had to use other characters, they couldn't use Justice Society characters, which, the, which is what the Justice Guild was based on. Anyway, so in this case, um, the Green Guardsman Scott Mason was a homage to Alan Scott, um, and he was voiced in this episode by William Catt. William Catt, of course, known for his work on the early 80s superhero live action show, um, The Greatest American Believe, uh, Greatest American Hero, which of course had the very famous opening song. Believe it or not. Ugh. And of course, in later episodes, uh, let's see, um, John Stewart's Justice League also made, uh, John Stewart of the Justice League cartoon made several appearances and made a few appearances in Static Shock as both himself and a member of the Justice League, which he was once again, vo he reprised his role, in which Phil Lamar reprised his role, as well as portraying the, the, the role of the lead character, Static. Then in, an, then, in an episode of Batman Beyond, the two-part episode, The Call, about, a fu about future Justice League, in which they had tried to recruit Terry McGinnis, to be their Batman. Um, there's a Green Lantern introduced in that one who was an eight-year-old Asian child in 
in that, that episode as well as making a return in the Justice League Unlimited episode epilogue as a young adult. His name being Cairo, a tribute to Cairo from the Green, Green Lantern's sidekick from the Superman and Aquaman Adventure Hour. Cairo was voiced by um, Lauren Tom. And then in the episode, Justice, in the Justice League Unlimited episode, The Once and Future Thing Part 2, how Jordan would appear briefly among the shifting times and stuff like that, voiced by, uh, by Adam Baldwin. So those are the DCAU appearances of, of Green Lantern. I have a few more to talk about, of course. Of course, in the anim in an episode of Duck Dodgers, anime TV series Duck Dodgers, entitled "The Green Loon Turn," um, it has an episode of Duck Dodgers getting um, Hal Jordan's outfit and ring um, from the dry cleaners instead of his own. Um, and the voices for the Green Lantern cast that was involved in this, um, Kevin Smith providing the voice of Hal Jordan in this cameo, as well as Kilowog being voiced by John DiMaggio, Count Matui being voiced by Tara Strong, Boudica, or Boudica being voiced by Gray Delisle, Chip being voiced by Frank Welker, and Sinestro being voiced by John Delancey. So, in the Duck Dodgers, of course, Kevin Smith would provide the voice of Green Lantern there. In the Batman um, series, in the fourth season finale, The Joining, where the Justice League is introduced, Hal Jordan is included in a non-speaking role among the members, but then he next appears in the fifth season, Ring Toss, voiced by um, Dermot Mulroney, and then again in the two-part series finale, Lost Heroes. Then as we move on to Batman the Brave and the Bold, I think um, I think at, at some points all you know at different points all you know the three you know let's see. So Guy Gardner um, appears in multiple episodes of Batman the Brave and the Bold, voiced by James Arnold Taylor, where he appears briefly in the pre-title sequence of Day of the Dark Knight, in which he ignores Batman's advice and accidentally Freeze an imprisoned alien by putting coffee on him. Um, in the eyes of Despero, Gardner, along with Gene Ort, Sinestro, and Mo Mogo, the Greenland planet, join forces with Batman to uh, stop the villain. Um, let's see. Of course, among those who provide their voices for... for um, for the Green Lantern's appearances in the Batman Brave and the Bold series would include um, Lauren Lester voicing Hal. Lauren Lester, of course, no, also known for playing um, Robin slash Nightwing Dick Grayson in Bat from Batman the Animated Series. Um, Sinestro being voiced by Xander Berkeley. Gene Ort being voiced by Alexander Polinsky, and the Guardians being being voiced by J.K. Simmons and Armin Shimmerman, um, who also were previously on the Justice League Guardian. J.K. Simmons was General um, Hardcastle, I believe. Oh, no, no, not General Hard. J.K. Simmons was General Eiling in the Justice League car cartoon, and then Armin Shimmerman was... Um, as Professor Moon, I believe. So. And then the origin the Green the Golden Age Green Lantern, Alan Scott, also appears um, as a member of the Justice Society later. Um I guess it was in a non speaking role. Well. And as we move ahead to Young Justice Hal Jordan, John Stewart, and Guy Gardner, and Alan Scott all make appearances in, in Justice Society. Um, Jordan Stewart appears members of the Justice League. 
while Scott appears as a member of the Justice Society, Jordan and Trip make their first appearances in the episode Fireworks. Gardner appears in Revelation in a cameo to help the Justice League, and Scott appears in episode Humanity. Um, the only one who actually voice, you know, provides the you know, the only character who speaks is John Stewart and and Kevin Michael Richardson, who has done a number of different characters throughout um, cartoons. Voices Stuart in Young Justice. Then in Green Lantern, the animated series, Green, um, Hal Jordan is once again the the main the main figure, the main character in the in the series, and he is voiced by Josh Keaton. And that's where I will end it there with Hal Jordan with, with that particular cartoon. So, so with that being all said, let's today is July the ninth, twenty twenty. So let's look back on this date in in um in his in you know Nietzsche history. So first off, I would like to wish Mark Mero a happy sixtieth birthday. Mark Merrow, of course, known as Wild Man Mark Merrow and later Marvelous Mark Merrow in the WWF, as well as Johnny B. Bad in WCW and TNA. You know, three-time television champion and former Intercontinental champion as well. Happy 60th birthday to Mark Merrow. Then, as we move ahead to 2006, on this date in 2006, the anime adaptation Welcome to the NHK would make its debut on this date in 2006. On this date, it was just 14 years ago. Anime adaptation of Welcome to the NHK would make its debut. Um, and on this date in 2014, just six years ago, um, Marvel would release on the newsstands the 100th anniversary special Spider Man number one. On this day, six years ago, um, Marvel would release on the New Sense the 100th anniversary special um, Spider-Man number one. So, with that being said, With that being said, um, if you guys would like to contact me directly, my Discord link is in the link section. Um, you can direct message me there. You can check out the Discord and join if you'd like. Um, I'm also still promoting a bunch of different dub companies as, you know, Funimation not only Game in Town, there's other works out there to check out. Also, um, I'm still promoting Vixco Fund Me as well as the Indiegogo. Um, well, the Indiegogo of uh, Indiegogo project of that umbrella guy and and the little umbrella girl. As always, guys, never feel like you have to donate. It's on your heart to do so, and you have the means to do so. Please consider donating. If you um, have already donated, please consider donating again. And if you cannot donate, you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. Sharing, sharing, you never know. Maybe somebody in your circle of friends may want to help out the cause. And if you like this content, I ask that you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I always look forward to the conversation with you guys, as long as it's somewhat respectful. And also, don't forget, tomorrow, tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, 6 Mountain, 7 Central, and all, all that, um, my next voice actor profile premiere will be going on. This week, I'll be profiling... Um, Cynthia Krantz, the Dallas space voice actress, known best for her work as Chi Chi on the Dragon Ball franchise. Uh, uh, and don't forget this Sunday as well as my next my next live stream in which I'll be talking about special the history of specialty matches in professional wrestling. So with all that being said, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.